One health to right. Okay, bet. I think it took me 15 minutes to start the game. We're off to a good start. Was there a, there was a Gargoyles game? Yeah. There was a Tarzan game? On 16 bit? Here we are. The perfect place for an island picnic. Huh. Maybe I read this map wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, huh. Huh. Nope, this is it. Mickey! Minnie! Oh boy, it's great to see ya. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you too. <laughs> Minnie packed that thing sent. on her? Wait, what? I didn't send that map. It doesn't even have coordinates or custom embossing. Let's go! <laughs> Not exactly. Gorgeous! The gang's all here! I sure am glad you sent this map, or I'd never found the place. It ain't on my GPS. Goofy positioning system. Hang on. We all oh got back to this God. island, but we didn't send them to each other? That's so strange. It sure is. <laughs> Why didn't we carpool? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, we gotta get to the bottom of. <gasps> Am I imagining things, or does everyone else hear that noise? Sounds like mystical twinkling. That is great observation. Island sound. Let's go check it out. Amazing observation, Goofy. That was a surprisingly entertaining intro, and I'm kind of mad that it was. That was so good. Hi, Jess. I want to watch the... <sighs> All right. Okay. And by the way, this intro, I was going to say, reminds me of, um, what's the sequel to, not sequel, I guess. What's the follow-up to Knives Out? I just watched it this year. It was really good. The opening of this game reminds me of the opening of that film. Glass Onion. Thank you. This feels very Glass Onion already. Disney Dollars. Wowee. No, 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 no. I got a Disney box full of goodies. I did not get a Disney paycheck. Your boy's not quite Marvel yet. But hey, Marvel, if you're watching, I have interviewed a couple people from your team, you know, in Disney. You know, how it's your boy. Hi, Vanessa. Um. The twinkling sounds coming from that direction. You mean the same direction these signs with suspicious picnic images are pointing to? <laughs> That's right. Gorge. Does this mean we still get our picnic? <laughs> That's the best case scenario. Why is my Mickey and Minnie going to sound the exact same? That's the best case scenario. <coughs> Here you. What's the rest Um, follow me. I didn't eat enough yogurt, clearly. What's the rest of Investigate the area ahead. Okay. What's that sound? Okay, I can do that. Love it. Oh, let me just check one thing. Hey, yo, Jess, ask and you shall receive. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, I love the turnaround sound for sure. My burrito I microwave exploded, so now I gotta eat it with a fork. I'm sorry. 
I can jump. Does he flap his wings? Donald's acknowledging he's a duck. I love it. Is that a mailbox with a, a beard? Ah, mailbox check. Okay. It's terrifying. Okay. Soft tap, hold down. Is that an origami paper crane in the background? It is. That was a quick checkpoint. All right, I'll take it. It's had a cactus. Oh, God, it came back. Boy, yo, yo, Boy, yo, 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 Boy, yo, 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 Welcome to the Queen of Mattresses, boy yo 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 yo. What if there's no picnic after all? Another checkpoint? Let's go. This is my kind of game. Okay. There's shoes in that line, Rip. You're not wrong about that. The sound is coming from behind this shrubbery. Ooh. Let's take a look. <gasps> okay. Is it normal to see a bookcase in the middle of a jungle? Well, sure. But making a strange twinkling sound? Oh. Now that's weird. It's Uriange. Mini Donald Goofy. We bid you welcome to the world of oh. Monoth. We are the Hokins, and I am their leader, Toku. Kakarot. I'm Goofy. Yes, I know. I just greeted you. Well, I remember. <laughs> Good times. Indeed. <laughs> uh, can someone please help move this conversation forward? Sure, Toku. <laughs> so, uh, are you the one who invited us here? I am. I apologize for the misleading picnic invitations, but if I told you the truth, you might not have believed me. <laughs> right, Donald? Yes, that is what I meant by misleading. Okay, I just wanted to know before I left my Yes, sir. Don't calm down. Now let's hear what no, 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 Minnie, let him cook. Say. Let him cook. My He's right. Is perfectly peak. No, let him Thank cook. You, Minnie. Well, uh, we're in desperate need of your help. Our entire world is in danger. We need heroes to save us in... We all know about your adventures. <laughs> Dueling with knights, swashbuckling as musketeers, and... Even contesting <gasps> giants high Can I pause? Me? Yes. Okay. I was scared because you know how some games you try to pause so you can like take stock of what's happening and the game just advances the dialogue. Fucking the Disney ice cream bars over there to the left hand side is dynamite. That is my favorite thing in the entire world. That's a screenshot. And they're wearing the Mickey shirt and the Mickey hat. Oh my god, homie's wearing a shirt with a question mark for Daisy. Essentially saying, where's Daisy Duck? I like that. That is so good. That is so good. And yeah, bless the game for having a true pause. Can you put your camera up to the right, top right? Uh, yeah, sure. To the ween stream, am I right? Yeah, right, Tina? Maybe it's DLC, or maybe you unlock her. Hi, DK. I have questions. Go on. 
Stark, I mean, wow. Gosh, we have done heroic things. Well, sure, but don't you want to be real heroes for a change? No, dude, I want a picnic. Yes, well, thank I think you. If others are in need, we should help them. And if that makes us heroes, no. then let's be heroes. Reason 4,897 why I love you, Minnie. Say, what are we whispering about? Oh. 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 <laughs> Tell us what you need, Toku. We'll help however we can. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, you know, I cannot tell you how relieved I am. <laughs> now, you see this magnificent yet empty bookcase? Yeah. Normally, it holds three tomes of knowledge, a trio of powerful magical books that contain all the wisdom of our land. Okay. Now, as long as the books are in place upon these shelves, prosperity reigns for the people of Monarch. Wait, I'm confused. If they're that important, why would you keep them on a bookshelf? Hang on! The books are gone! Yes! I know! <laughs> what happens when the books aren't on the shelf? Oh, great calamity will befall our world and a thousand evils will reign! The eighth calamity! Suffering and misery. I know who to call. That's... Gosh, <laughs> yeah. what happened to the tomes? Evil thieves from the three biomes of Monoth have stolen them, selfishly using the magic of the tomes to further their own desires at the expense of the world. We tried to stop them from taking the books, but... You are too small and weak? I was just going to say that we failed, but yes, yeah, we were too weak. Too weak and small. And small, <laughs> yes. Both of those things, we are <laughs> small and weak, all right? Donald! And... <laughs> The point is, we need help from outside heroes, and you can help. <laughs> your exploits are famous. Your bravery, legendary, and to, to put it simply, you're, you're just what we need, what our world needs. That's cute. What do you say? Sure. <laughs> of course. You betcha. <laughs> Donald? Let's go, Donald. <laughs> right. We can reward you handsomely. Uh, any Donalds in the chat? If you are Donald Duck, press one. If you are Donald freaking Duck, let me see a one in the chat. My man said, you lied to us. You betrayed our trust that you're asking for. There's no picnic. We're not getting paid. Those were fake exploits. You are actually small and cranky and weak and you need our help. This is not my problem. I'm leaving. Okay, we get money. All right, I'll reconsider. Donald is the G. Like, that is my dude. I'm telling you. These are the last villains. I'm calling it now. Honestly, I feel that too, Paul. I feel it too. That's right. We'll do it, Toku. Oh, wonderful. You must travel to the three biomes of Your mini? to retrieve the tomes of knowledge. I see it. But be prepared. It will not be easy. The thieves will not readily part with the books, but I will teach you some magic words that will help. Words are the most powerful weapon, you know. <laughs> These words, when spoken aloud, create a sequence that will trap the thieves. It's better than any can in hand. Well, there's no messy cleanup. So it's like a magic spell? Yes! Just utter these words. TBD. 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 Wait, are those placeholder words or the actual words? Yes. And we can use the spell on anybody? No, just the thieves. Hmm. That seems suspiciously arbitrary. It is, yeah, Tina. Much in life does. Okay, so all we gotta do is find the thieves and use the words to tap them. Yes, but it will only work when they're dazed. There certainly are a lot of rules. Such is the nature of... The rules. Okay, so no Pluto. No football slash soccer. No feeding the ducks. Oh my god, that is incredible. No rollerblading. No swimming and or drowning. No fishing, no driving, and no sandwiches? Can I tell y'all a secret? 
like I'm not just saying this because it's hashtag ad. I did not expect this game to be this well written and the direction to be this well done. Yeah, yeah, Vanessa, they are absolutely the final bosses. They have magic and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Reem. Magic. Oh, I've got a question. Where's the picnic? Right? Oh, no, that was a ruse. A what? No, a, 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 a ploy, a sham, a, a, a deception. Oh, are there sandwiches? There is no. <laughs> it's okay. We'll explain. Don't you worry, Toku. We won't let you down. Oh, thank you. All of you. I hear you, Toku, Michimochi. Where can we find the tomes? Retweet. I do not have the exact locations. <laughs> but we believe each thief can be located within a different part of Monarch. I suggest you travel to Terrarium Town within Pavonia, the biome to the west. This is the last known sighting of one of the tomes. I've marked the location on these mobile communication devices. Just check the Toku app. Thanks, Toku. Come on, everybody. Let's go find the first tome and be heroes! That seemed to go well. Uh, this is why we need help. Um. I am still 100% with Donald. And if I'm Donald, Tina, I'm so happy you're there right now. Pointing out what's arbitrary and what's not. And you too, Shane, for asking the right questions as Goofy. Like, where are the sandwiches, honestly? They <laughs> had yeah, that famous joke for today. That's what they're handing out in the Twitch grab bags at TwitchCon Vegas. Mickey is Final Fantasy XIV conversation option number one every time. Yes. Mickey is John Final Fantasy. We need to go through the forgotten farmlands on the other side of this gap. Gorge. This jump looks pretty far. I can make it. Watch. Oh. Donald, are you okay? Mm. Let's look around the island for something to help us cross this gap. Ah. Nothing else, it will be an adventure. Some places you can't get to yet. Find new items to help you progress. All right, Disney, let's see how good your quality assurance team is. Pretty good. Because I feel like that was the very last active possibility. Yeah, that's a pretty good team. All right, you win. Collectibles? Don't mind if I do. Glimped. Gain extra hearts or unlock gallery rewards in the menu? Okay. But what's down this way? Before I go up. Ah, yes, the bookshelf area. Oh dear, you haven't found any book yet, friends. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> I wonder if that operates like Super Mario World, where you hit the little blocks and it fills in those gaps later on. Also, I love this animation. Reminds me of Sonic 2. When you sit on the ledge, love it so much. He's gonna Adrian it? I tried. Gustav Klimp. Nice. I know that's what I was saying earlier, Flynn Chop. Donald acting like a duck is wild to me. Platform hours. Let's go. I specifically evaded screenshots, movies, and media for this game so I could experience it raw. You know, I'm, I've been thinking about that. How many times do you all think in the past, I don't know, let's say since lockdown, you've played a game where you've experienced it raw? As in, not necessarily trailers, but you've watched no media. No screenshots, no trailers, no gameplay feature, no previews, no reviews. 
You just said, I think I like the gist of that game and the description. I'm going to play it and give it a try. You know what I mean? I feel like we don't get that as much as we used to. Some places you can't get to yet. All right, I can't super jump yet. Can I, is that a climbing area? Did I miss that? Is there fall damage? Hold on, I've got to find out. I feel like this is some kind of magical uh, beam that gives me the ability. Or I can probably grab that when I can jump higher. Okay. I've never thought a good way to be, honestly. Most of the stuff you play, to be honest, smart. I never watch trailers or gameplays. What about screenshots? When folks share trailers, I just look at the link sitting there like, ah, nice. Oh my God, the idle animation. That's from the flip book that I got. Do it again, please. Cool yourself off, Donald. Get angry and cool yourself off. Love it. Boy, yo, yoing. Boy, yo, 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 Okay, I can do this. I'm a complete failure. <clears throat> I thought I was him. Also, I can't grab and climb onto this. Intradestin. I feel like an umbrella would lift you up or something cartoon-like thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a very last frame jump. A lot of places I can come back to. Oh, a lot of places I can come back to. Thank you, mailbox. Yoo-hoo, hello. Oh. oh, hello. Sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh -huh. I get a little lost in my own tinkering world. Can I help you with something? Huh. We're trying to get across to Pavonia. You know if there's a way? Uh -huh. Why, yes, I have just the tools for the task. <gasps> Great, thanks. Uh -huh. What's the point of a wonderful workshop if not to help those in need? <laughs> oh, yes, these will work splendidly. Now then, from my new friend with the distinctive ears, a shiny short burst jetpack. Oh boy. Oh boy, a jetpack. This will really put a room in my zoom. Individual items. Oh, I love this. Yes. Individual items for the person. I think the closest two games that were like that for me is Elden Ring and Death's Door. Elden Ring, not a shot, but Death's Door for sure. I'm with you. Let me try about Venba. I played the demo of Venba. Looks really good. And I think one of my friends actually worked on Venba. Help for free, no trust. For Miss Botastic, an elegant get, uh, elephant bit of origami, a giant paper plane. <laughs> I love it. So sleek and aerodynamic. Uh... For you and the lovely, um, I guess that's a sweater? Or Sure. Oh. Yup. Huh? Okay. Uh -huh. For you, a spicy pepper to fire you forwards. Oh, Food, fantastic. I'm starving. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah ha ha! It's a propellant pepper, not an edible one. <laughs> what do I get? Talk to him. Uh -huh. Ah yes, the sailor. <laughs> the sailor. You have, um, hold on. You forgot me, did mm -hmm. Not at all. Oh. There it is, a rather rickety repeating rocket. What? Don't rockets usually explode? Ah. Now all of you please enjoy these inventions. Ah. 
They should help you navigate the treacherous terrain of Mana. Thank you for your help. Um, you can call me Mazzy. <laughs> Thanks, Mazzy. Oh. You are welcome and farewell, my new friends. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, he sure was nice. <laughs> you said it. Now let's head over to Pavonia and find terrarium, a terrarium town. <laughs> Vanessa. Look. He never answered my exploding rocket question. Nice. Find a way to jump further. Gang, gang. Okay. Travel over the gap. Press that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Nice. Donald is a black person. 100%. Everyone's all gassed up like, yo, we can jump higher, fam. And Donald's like, he didn't. Did y'all miss the part where my question was not answered? Or am I just imagining that? Do y'all not care about my well-being? No? Ah. Typical. What was that noise? Wait, can I dash? I was boot scooting for a second. Oh, I can do a backflip. A backflip into a no fakey ride. Okay, nice. He holds it long. That's what I keep trying to do now. It has a certain time window that it extends out to, and then it's just gone. So I guess I really timed my jumps. I can kind of aim it, though, based on the trajectory of my jumps, so there's that. Kind of. Yeah, pretty much, Alex. Jess. I can't speak to you? You just chilling there? Okay. Suspicious. Nice. Oh boy. Now that we've got a way to boost our jumps, let's head back to that gap. Whoa. Um, where was it again? Mm. Let's open the map and have a look. Ooh. That arrow must be where we are now. What a dynamite Mickey impression. Ah. And this marker must be where we're going. Ah. Can't we just go home? <laughs> no, we promised to help. <sighs> Fine. Let's head back to the gap in the forgotten farmlands. Donald has no days off from being right. My man has not missed a beat. Donald effing duck has not missed a beat. I think I get more arch from the backflip. If I do a little backflip like this, I get a slightly bigger boost. Good to know. This is fun. You know, I, I have like one button. That's it. Jump. Then again, I mean, think about how many games just have one button and it feels like it's the best game in the world. Look at the game only up right now. Or don't look at it. Their postures are really full of personality. They truly are. Gamer. This is kind of pretty. I love the way that Donald stands out against the back of too, and the foreground, really. All the ground.
Nice try. My Nintendo. Oh my god. The arrogance to jump without screen scrolling is amazing. I did get caught with the mix up. That was actually a devious mix. That mix up was so good that in the FGC we would call that a schmix. Deep Roots Library. I was testing to see if I uh, pause my game. Will the action still keep going on the screen? Is the X my destination or is the X pointing out where I last died? Because why would that matter? I don't drop anything, do I? Oh, it, it definitely points out my last death. All right, cool. Thank you. Neat. Yeah, Tina, one HP gang. You know what it is. You become an envelope. The flowers in the back are pretty. Shouldn't have jumped. Also a fighting game thing. How'd I get caught in that schmix? Why'd you jump? Ah. To start my offense? It's down here. Look at Donald, he looks so miserable in the water. Actually, Donald looks kind of miserable everywhere. I'm not sure if it's just a water thing. The animation of when Donald actually submerges, he briefly holds his breath and then exhales when he rises. That's so good. That's really good. I dig it. Okay. Nice try. Can't quite do that yet. That's okay. Ooh, the pan out. Pan me out. I can't pan out. Pan me. Giving me vibes of every platform I've ever played. Celeste's roads like dead cells. A collectible card. Oh, it's a bestiary. Sharpick, pokey in every sense of the word. Sharpicks are slow moving slugs covered in spikes. Found in most regions of the island, they are non-combative but adapt to self-preservation and their spikes can deal some serious damage. You all know what this is, right? Honestly, this is the preview that Disney is looking to step into the Pokemon market. It won't be long now. And I'll be there. Donald Duck's feet are very audibly present. Remember, Tina, whenever people use that duck dance emote, and I say whenever I see duck dance, it reminds me of the sound of a duck walking across a linoleum floor. That's what's happening right now. That's duck dance. It's getting... Brasylvanian vibes? Yes. Cactuar? Mm. Accomplishment unlocked? Yeah, make me feel good about myself. Gotta get them all? I want to be the best that ever was. Disney Triple Triad? Why stop there? Your move! Disney Yu-Gi-Oh! Disney Gwent? Oh my God, look at those uwu flowers in the background. They're so happy to be alive. Oops. Yeah, some places I can't get to yet. Nice windmill. That makes me happy to hear, Kuros. I thought it was one of those uh, disappearing platforms and I got nervous for a moment. 
there are doors throughout Mono. Okay. Uh, thank you. Three keys? Three keys of rhythm and dancing. Okay. Three keys of passion through the night. Three keys of taking over. Three keys of passion through the night. Oh, God. For real? Angori. It said, ooh, is that a Mickey Mouse barrel back there? It is. I thought I could fall inside. I thought I could fall inside of it like in Mario 2, those bases you go inside of. But I guess not. Very nice. Wonder. mind if I just thanks homie there's some doors in this house there's some doors in this house shut these doors in this house open these doors in this house let me talk to him <gasps> companion cube that was a triumph I'm making oh, a right. note here. Well, Huge kind of success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. What up, Imperial? Imperial. Im, 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 Imperial. Thank you for the raid. Can we see the death animation for the fly trap? You know what? I will risk my deathless playthrough to satisfy your own curiosity and mine. So yeah, why not? How am I? I'm, I'm chilling. I'm chilling with a surprisingly good Disney game. All right, let's see this. Ah, no custom death animations. These get rocked, okay. Hello, Raiders. My name is Okadrian. Right. My name is Okadrian. I'm a streamer on Twitch.tv. I'm a partner for eight and a half years. I'm a Twitch ambassador for two years. I'm also a producer. I'm a host. I'm an interviewer. I'm also a game dev. I wear many hats. Welcome to the stream. I like handhelds, sneakers, comics, vinyls, legs, nice people, books. Welcome. Ah, uh, nothing different. Oh, well, yeah, that's how I felt about it, too. Well, I'm done with you. I thought for a second time slowed down. I don't know why I heard like a noise that reminded me of a slow down animation and I almost got rocked. Oh my goodness. Adrian the game dev, supposedly. How are you Imperial by the way? What was popping over your place? What was in the gaming agenda this evening for you? French toast, man. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, I need three keys. Oh, the key meter's down there in the bottom left hand corner. That's significant. I like that. I'm now very suddenly looking forward to a speed run of this game that optimizes which character you play as based on where they are at the end of these whole squad is here for cutscenes. My bet is in a mini speed run. I can't wait to see what game breaking ways there are to advance past certain areas. 
sewing a Disney bag tonight, so in line with Oh, bet, 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 bet. Nice. Quality. Like, were you making it from scratch or like, what's popping? Oh my god, I thought it was a plant. I don't know why my brain turned off for a moment. Ah, oh, Vanessa really just said, Alex, why don't you leave the speed running to me? Partner. Heck yeah, sewing from fabric. It'll be a backpack? That's so dope. That is a skill that I want to try to optimize. That's dope. I don't quite know how to sew from scratch. I can just repair things, you know? Like I can repair patches and jeans and holes and build small things. Uh, I can sew things onto other objects. So all my bags, because I have several. My backpack, my fanny packs, my carrying pouches, my gaming cases, all those I sew things onto. Which is good because, you know, I think about this a lot, more than I should actually. Sometimes I wonder, What's it gonna be, a general, a doctor? Sometimes I wonder like, if you're ever on a deserted island, like lost, right? And we're divvying up the skill tree of who can bring what, and you're assembling your groups, subconsciously you'll start doing that. What is, what are you gonna bring? What's your special skill set? Like, hey, is anybody here uh, an optometrist? Is anyone here a cartographer? Like, listen, I, I'm not a doctor. I am first aid and CPR qualified, though, certified. And I know how to sew up wounds. So if any of you get fairly injured, I can probably just close the wound for you if you want, you know? That's what I bring to the table. Oh, I dropped down from there. That's how I got there. Okay, but. You gotta press it each time. Nice. Here to teach you at any time. I should ask you about that in Memphis. That's my B. Speaking of Memphis, by the way, Vanessa, you were there too, Obs. I was talking to uh, Pika last night. Katie, for the uninitiated. And one of the greatest joys I ever had in my entire life was eating uh, Gus's world famous fried chicken in Memphis. And I experienced categorical heartbreak. And I was leaving Memphis and realized I'd never have that food ever again. Until I found out that Detroit, which is 45 minutes away from me, has a Gus. So like within five days of me landing from Memphis airport, your boy legit drove to Detroit and went to that Gus's. And let me tell you, it's still good. Nice. I knew it. Listen, uh, I played Metroid, I played Doom, I, I played Dark Souls. You can't hide walls from me. You can't hide walls from me. You going to TwitchCon? Me? Um, I'd like to. I'd like to. I have a pass for TwitchCon, but I don't have a flight or hotel. Every TwitchCon since the second one. I've been to every TwitchCon. Every TwitchCon since the first one, I've been there in some capacity where I've hosted or interviewed or worked or done a panel. So I've been fortunate in that respect. But I don't know if that'll be the case this year. But I've always just bet on the fact that if I'm brought out there to work, I will gladly soak in the TwitchCon experience. But if not, that's a big ass. That's a lot of money for a flight and a hotel. It would be nice to see friends again, though, you know, so we'll see. I have three points in crafting of maybe 10. I don't suppose we need for a programmer of sorts in a deserted island. Maybe, you actually never know. Maybe there's a, uh, a black box that has a uh, radio capabilities. We need someone with your programming expertise or someone to make a mocha. There you go. I bet, Tina, I bet you have like 10 out of 10 stats in like 18 categories. 5 a.m. flight for the Gen Con. Yeah, sleep well. Hey, before you go, if I may ask, what are you going to bring for entertainment? Are you bringing your Steam Deck? And if you are, what are you going to play? Are you going to stick to Steam stuff or Bato Sarah? After that, I'm done. 
Of course, you don't have to answer. You could just dip instead. So, you lucked out in getting there? Bet. Are you doing anything that you can talk about at TwitchCon? I came from up there, but was there a side path too? It was, but there's a door over that way. That was a secret path thing I discovered. Okay, bet. Bet, 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 bet. Take him to the bridge. Okay. Kat personally creates a drawing of everyone who enters Gizmo Gizmopolis. Initially hired to help polish the work of other sec security experts. If you've seen someone walking around Gizmopolis, it's likely Kat has drawn them at some point. This feels like a, a plot clue. <clears throat> like, I feel like the person in charge who asked for our help is going to say I was never in Gizmopolis. That's where the theft took place or something like that. And we'll go to Cat, and Cat will have a drawing of them proving they were there. I'm taking my pow kitty. I just kid it. Right, with some shining force. Right, your uh, your Android device thingy. Hey yo, let me know if you hear back about that Logitech thing. By the way, have fun, safe travels. I can sew, garden, cook, identify poisonous mushrooms, and look cute on a beach. We will need all those. Team Tina then. I cannot identify poisonous mushrooms or poisonous plants, so we'll definitely need your help with that one. Uh, I haven't mentioned it one time because I haven't really thought about it, but the music's pretty cozy in the background, too. Aha! Look who stopped before he jumped. No more schmixing your boy up now. You can hate me now. Why is the wall... Why are they side spikes? I feel like that's concerning. Is that a water droplet? Oh, there are water droplets. I can identify poisonous mushrooms, but only one time. That reminds me of a joke. Uh, not a joke, but a cartoon, Quapo, that I saw back in the day. Is that an eye? A cartoon that I saw back in the day. It was with Daffy Duck, who was trying to outdo Bugs Bunny for a magic trick. And then Daffy Duck starts uh, drinking all these different concoctions and stuff, and then lights a match and puts it in his mouth, and then explodes. And Bugs Bunny and the whole crowd is going bananas like wow that really is a fantastic trick daffy that's amazing and he's like yeah the problem is i can only do it once as this ghost floats up in the air and i thought it was the coolest thing not to hear me out i thought it was so cool because of the sound effects because even though he was drinking he was drinking poison essentially and things like that it looked like it was baja blast and code red i wasn't identifying it as poisonous concoctions but rather just mountain dew flavors <laughs> That's where my head went. That's what you were thinking of? See? We're in sync, Twapo. It's like we finished each other's... The proximity pickup on that mailbox? Yeah, it was generous, wasn't it? Because I think I was... That's a really big uh, hurt box. Because I was like way above it. I thought I could change trajectory in midair. I thought I could float forward and then float backwards. But once you jump, you're committed to that jump. Very interesting. Also, do I want to keep going that way or that way? <laughs> you cute. What's the difference? Uh-oh, we're zooming in. You know what that means. Stand in a healing pool to restore hearts. Well, I've got some bad news for you. I have one heart to heal. So thank you, but also I'm kind of unhappy that there's no animation for standing in the healing pool. There's an ambient sound effect, but even in Zelda, if I was standing right here, I'd hear that you know the great fairy fountain theme? Bum, 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 bum. Which, by the way, if you haven't heard the Rick Ross version, is so much better. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. 
with the great fairy fountain thing in the background is so good. Haha, ha, what? Bro. Hold on. I won't play it on stream, but here you go. Give that a listen. I promise you'll be uh, quite surprised with how dope it sounds. Yeah, all the mechanics for healing that I literally can't use because I'm a hardcore gamer because Paul told me to do so. The stall was tremendous on that one. Okay. Boy, oi, oi. Oh, the Mickey shaped lantern down there hanging. Lantern, if you will. This is a cozy game. I bet it looks really good on handheld, too. That's always my first reaction when I play a Switch game dock is I wonder how good this looks on the actual handheld. Because I do the same thing all the time, even with Steam Deck. My first thought is how good will this look on Steam Deck handheld? It'll run well, that's fine. I don't know how it looks on that smaller screen. You know what I mean? Good night, Tina. Sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. See you in blue sky. No more Uggos. <laughs> Can't get up there. I have to go around, probably. Ah, Mickey-shaped cutouts right there, too, in the sponge. Very nice. I have to go all the way around. Jesus. How greedy am I right now? When can I use my points to trade in for. Oh. These are tokens. Immorabilia. Oh, this is. Oh my god. 130? Bro? I'm just now hitting 780? All right. Okay. Okay. You're lucky I grew up playing Sonic and other games where it's just expected that you hoard all the time. It's like rain. But the fountain. New gallery item unlocked. Oh, it's like a puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle you unlock. Got it. The history of Pavonia. Pavonia, the western biome, is famous for its incredible flora and fauna. These wondrous crops are harvested for food and supplies, then distributed throughout Monoth. Legend states that Pavonia is fruitful and prosperous due to the protection of the Highness, a giant peacock believed to wrap the entire biome within its wings. Pavonia is made up of three regions. Forgotten Farmlands, Terrarium Town, and the Head of the Highness. Do you think Pavonia is the only alliteration-based biome? Or do you think the entire game is going to be like that? So Mickey Heads heading around the parks too? I'm telling you, I've spotted so many Mickey Heads, Shane, when I went to Disney World. And I'm not going to lie, I thought it was so cool to do so. I also ate at a uh, French restaurant based off of a Remy and Ratatouille and I had honest to goodness crepes and let me tell you Ohio delicacies and shit which I knew that already so that definitely reinforced it now I'm not associating it with a Florida thing or a Disney thing necessarily it's just that I know I have access to there to things that I won't have access to here There's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. I had to concentrate so I had to stop singing. My brain actually started smoking a little bit like out of my ears like a cartoon. Mini game IRL, truly. Giant Peacock? Yeah, shots fired, NBC. Your move. Wait, did you answer earlier about 
you have Paramount. Like, what is that? What what do you what do you watch on Paramount? Oh god, Steven. You said uh Big Brother? I wanna say that's it, but it's not unlikely for people to or it's not uncommon for people to choose one of those network programmings for one specific show and or movie. Ohio and delicacies in the same sentence. Omega law. What a little shitter. Wow, that was generous. I for sure thought I poked their hurt box. I'm getting them glints. One of my largest concerns right now is I wonder if right here when you go to collections and you look at glint rewards, I'm starting to wonder if the number of glints it takes to unlock everything is equivalent to the maximum amount of glints you can get in the entire game. I.e., if you want to unlock everything, you can't miss a single glint. And again, Alex wouldn't care. He just finished playing Pikmin 4. Bring on the collectibles! You can see X, Y number of glints. Oh, you're hundred percent right. Thanks, dude. 74 out of 111. I think someone's got a problem. Oh, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you can see a little uh, shortcut area too that I apparently missed. Or is that the one that I went through? That's the one that I went through, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. Oh. Nope. Did I really miss a glint back there? You should have never shown me that, Alex, because now I'm like, oh, wait, did I miss a glint back there? I sure did. All the way back. Playing back home. Is it? Oh, it's... Was it literally right there in front of my face? Wow, I'm a gamer. Nice. This music is nice, very Disney. It is. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Nutcracker theme. That... Oh no, my gamer juice is running out. Oh, I can't wall bounce? Come on, give me the Shinobi tech. Give me the Strider tech. I want that. I want the hazard. I don't know why it's not like it's like ground pound, like I'm Mario, just butt first right through the floor. I guess not. I almost uh, short changed that. Make that jump. Better not risk it. I would have lost. Ooh, bang. Flashback to me saying, oh no, collectibles. Flash forward. You were right. Nice try. I'm not jumping down there. What? <laughs> I almost went all aboard the Booth Express. Choo choo. Interesting. Double interesting. I like how the blue icons right there indicate the areas where you get a power up that'll help you get back there. It's very UI friendly. You can tell they're not making the game too try hard, you know? I think there's a delicate balance in that. I don't think every game has to be super untry hard or super try hard in that respect, but I think a game has to decide what kind of game it wants to be. You know? 
has to decide how hardcore of a game it wants to be. You can't move in one direction and then backtrack and decide to go a different direction. And then include 20% of that gameplay and then 20% of that. This game decided, look, you can do one hard if you want to, if, you, if that's your style of play. But we'll make the UI cleaner so you understand what you can and cannot have access to and when you can and cannot get to it. And that's fair. Ah, okay, so I would have got mixed up anyway over here. And for me, the reason why I play with one heart <clears throat> isn't necessarily a hardcore game. For me, it makes me pay attention to the game a bit more, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? If I had three hearts that I knew were readily expendable, I might run around with reckless abandonment. But knowing that I have one heart makes me pay attention to what I'm running into, the environment, helps me appreciate it more because I'm soaking it in because I'm worried about the calamities that will befall me along the way. This is my play style. No one asked. But in case you were going to, I hope that explains things. You're welcome. Gratifying. Not a fan of all the eyes everywhere. Speaking of Disney property based games, how many of you have been playing that, uh, what's it called? The Disney Dreamlight Valley? The almost Animal Crossing S game? I only ask because I saw a lot of surprising people who I wouldn't suspect would play a game like that, just based on their actual game history on Twitch, who played that thoroughly and enjoyed it. I never quite got around to it. I watched a few streams of it. And it looked beast. Hey, Mazzy. It's so nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, my friends. And a little surprising. We just saw you back at the library. Yes, you did. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, very. How did you get here? Oh, you know, I don't quite remember. <laughs> Must be the years finally catching up to me. Anyway, what can I do for you? We gotta reach the terrarium town, but we can't find a way to the top of the forgotten farmlands. So you need something to ascend to new heights. Hmm. Yes, that will help and that, oh my goodness, certainly that. The problem is not your jumping prowess. It's your ability to cling to vertical surfaces. Fortunately, I have just the curious creations to help. From my red shorted friend. <laughs> the pin may be mightier than the sword, but a giant pencil can draw new conclusions. Oh, boy. oh man, Mickey's gonna gaslight everybody. Mm -hmm. For a professional climber with the polka dot personality, a professional climbing tool. Oh. <laughs> That's certainly spot on. Haha, <laughs> spot on. For the gent in the green hat, the best way to serve this situation is a giant fork. <laughs> my tummy's rumbling already. And for you, my nautical friend. Yeah, what do I get? A plunger. A plunger. A better way to stick to stuff. But the others are so... Fine, just give it to me. Y'all are gonna stop disrespecting Donald, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Gorge. If this turns into one of those games where there's a level we off the PvP, I'm gonna rock everyone. Always there just when you need him. <laughs> Plunger. Booey. Wall jump! I can shinobi. Nice. I think I'm going to go pierce my septum tomorrow. Yourself? Is that the trait that you bring to the, <laughs> the nautical island? 
What can you do? I can pierce everyone's septum if you want. You know, as long as we're here, why not? Yeah, I'll take one. I am I want you to love me. Like a bing boom boom. Oh, I have to go in order, I guess. I can paint everyone's nails, but where'd the idea for a septum piercing come from? Just feel like doing a little something different, a little something, something different. Just because. Oh, all those blue markers changed into the uh, highlight for that. Can I say I love every game that has filters, that has a massive map UI? Looking at you, God of War, thank you. I can't tell you how much happier I'd be playing Castlevania, Harmony or Dissonance of Harmony if I had access to that. I wonder if the uh, there's a Castlevania Game Boy collection, I think. I think it's on Steam. And I wonder if they added that as like UOL. Thought about it for a while, just chickened out. Little clickety cluck. Little clickety cluck ream. That's fair, it's a big decision to make. If the end result is you being happy, then do you. Or else. I can do multiple skit. Let's go. Gaming has arrived. Memori uh, memorabilia bundle. Steamboat Willie 1928. A mischievous steamboat deckhand meets Minnie and makes merry. Nice. Wait a minute. I just realized there's an outline. It's the Steamboat Willie outfit minus Mickey. Are these alternate costumes? Which kind of sucks because that means I unlocked a Mickey costume, not a Donald costume. Oh. How the fuck do I get up there then? I don't. I'll have to go up this way probably and go around that way. All right, I guess. Is that one of the ones they don't show any longer? Steamboat Willie? I don't know to be honest, Swafo. Can't wait for my mom to call me a cow, hee <laughs> hee. Scrooge McDuck Donald will be dope. God Tain, I'll do you one better. Scrooge McDuck Donald? And it plays the uh, moon theme when you wear it from the original DuckTales game. But think of the cute Donald costumes. I am thinking of them. That's the problem. I am thinking of them, Reem. This is the anthem. Throw your damn hands up. I'm been to grab every. Nice try, bozo. Hello. It's a lot of ricocheting to get up there. Is that a fly trap right there too? That's toxic. Cyclone? Terrarium Town's resident anthropologist is Cyclone. A calm individual, he documents the people of Monoth who have come before and will exist after his time. Rumor has it he can be strict, though this has never been witnessed. Okay. Good. Oh, I can use the plunger to slow down my speed. That is tight. Can I switch characters anytime, actually? Nah, once you commit to a character, that's it, I think. That's fine, actually. That's neat. I don't mind. I wonder because it said one player, two, three, or four, how this works with four players. Like, what do all four of you, like, do together? You know what I mean? Like, is that a fair question? Like, 
Do all four of you just make sure that you don't miss any of these glints? Oh, brother. I don't know how the F word I'm gonna get that one. Gamer. Wait, is, do I have an animation where I go up a bit further before I can jump? Oh, there's a slight animation where I rise up for a little bit before I can go up. Y'all see that? That's kind of cool. Speed run tech found. Do we know if it's online co-op enabled or just local? I think it's just local. I think it's couch co-op. Which only reinforces my desire, actually, Alex, because I've been seeing more and more couch co-op come to life. I wish I had a home home, like an actual like American dream house like I'm supposed to have. So I can actually host some game nights with couch co-op and invite friends over. I miss doing proper game nights. Something to bring the friends over and make it like a... Mediterranean food night, taco night, hot wing night. We all play a specific kind of console. Two TVs lined up, each one with different consoles. I would like, not to sound morbid, but I would like to have that as an option before I leave this world. It doesn't have to happen for too many times or too long, but I want that. Oh, Reem, absolutely. Absolutely, we already kind of do that. She actually fancies uh, older games more than newer games. Loves Castlevania. Even though it was beating her ass. She got better really quickly though. Warmed my heart. I was trying to think if I could fast travel between these, but I guess not. That's too much that I ask. Oh, that's my destination. Oh, you. There's the fairy fountain. I'm grabbing these because those might be costumes. There's three left, which ideally to me means mini Goofy Donald. Let's see if I'm right. I think I'm right. Please say yes. Your influence, obviously. Obvs. That's way back up there. I can't get that song out of my head from Planet of Lana. I don't know how many of you were here for that playthrough, but it's a really enjoyable indie game. But the ending song is so good. <laughs> and it's stuck in my head. Try and play my way back home. Hey, appreciate you sharing more about your life. Yeah, I just do bits and pieces based on who's in here and who's speaking. The internet's a woeful place. Goofy's first love, the sandwich. I kind of remember that sandwich right there from a cartoon. I don't remember the context though. Well, there goes my theory about costumes. F me. That was close. Give me that. Mazzy, the curiously creative Mazzy is the terrific tinkerer of crazy contraptions combining magic and science into magnificent inventions. A tool for every trade and a project for every purpose. Weird how he's always there when you need him. It is quite interesting. 
A message just kind of, you know, end up in the right place at the right time. One might say suspect. I don't know. They're really trying to get us with the nostalgia and it's working. I have recency bias though, because I went to Disney. So it's really hitting. If I had to play this game, Reem, I probably would have never brought up the uh, Dream Starlight Valley. Just talk about setting never played. You know, the sad thing is if Disney reached out and said, hey, Adrian, we have a paid opportunity for a code for you and a couple of hours stream and posting socials if you want to play Dreamlight Valley. I'd be like, you know what? Why not? I can find time for that. I don't know why I suddenly did that in my day to day voice, but. I don't have to go that way if I don't want to. It's just the true, true, gotta do. True summer. Leaving me here on my own. It's a crew. Get your money. How else am I going to get my American dream home? And have a game night. You're invited, by the way, Reem. Of course. So are you, Alex. So are you, Twapo. Clock cleaner Mickey with the shoes. What are those? I play almost any game if someone paid me. I want to say yes, but I've turned down several games for money. Either because A, they just didn't vibe with me, or B, I thought, nah, I'm not that much of a sellout. TBQH. Was there a ricochet thing in here? I am such an effing gamer. I always pay attention to everything. I am him, truly him. Blessed are we in my presence. Autumn No. Autumn No is an audio sort bot charged with going through all of Mop's audio base mail. Autumn No? Autumn No is really good. He's a big believer that any job done with a smile is a waste of efficiency and assumes an air of attitude with every successful job. That's me for real. Me too, Autumn No. I'm saying. You can keep your little pop songs to yourself with your put a smile on your face. Now what you gonna do? Now what you gonna do? Nah, I'm trying to get paid and efficiency. Ooh. I guess there's a way that later on I can, yeah, I don't have that unlocked yet. That's really cool how it shows you what you don't have unlocked yet to access certain things. That's BA. Can you say which ones you've turned down? No, but I think if you guessed, you could figure them out. Faster go back this way. Hey, it's Wapo. Do you have a Steam Deck? I only ask because I follow the Steam Deck official account on Twitter, right? I think it's at on deck. And every month they do a listing of the most played games on Steam Deck. Just so you can get an idea of what everyone's playing. Like for example, Vampire Survivors is always up there. I think Dead Cells is always up there. Grand Theft Auto 4 is always up there. But usually at number one and number two is Cyberpunk. So I was gonna ask you if you did, how well does it run or how good does it look on Steam Deck? It's almost always number one, number two kind of feeling. You don't have one, unfortunately. God. Hidden Mickey? Where? Is that Cap? You for real? Vampire Survivors would be so good on Steam Deck. I tried it out on Steam Deck. It is indeed enjoyable. Back before one of the mushroom things. Wait, how far back was it? Because I don't want to backtrack too far. Oh yeah, I forgot you were doing your own bread making. How's that been coming along for you, Jess? Has it been a worthy investment or are you like, eh, why did I do this? Right there, that one? Culinary? 
I saw that one earlier. It is cool. Yeah, yeah. That one's cool. There's been a few different hidden Mickeys in the game. It's kind of too bad you don't get like an achievement, you know, culinary. Not for finding them, but if you stare at it long enough for like five seconds, the game recognizes you actually get located. Not by accident. Like this one right here, for example. Feel me? Yes, it has been a worthy investment. I'm so happy for all of you finding your way in different culinary <laughs> devices that bring you joy. For example, uh, Jess, obviously, with your bread maker. Reem with your air fryer, where you just air fry the world now. I've been considering it. I think I'm going to get the small air fryer on Black Friday. That's on my agenda of things to do. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was a fly trap. I'm sitting there taking a time out to say, hey, what's up, stream? It's your boy Adrian. The fly trap was like, shut up. Yeah, big whoops. It's reminded that Mickey and the Holy Spirit are always with us, truly. When it's Black Friday again, it's the Friday after Thanksgiving. So it's gonna be like October, late October. I don't know the exact date, I'm sorry. I love my air fryer. It's how I always make my tofu. Oh yeah, I guess that you could make tofu that way. Vimbo's gonna have me buying all kinds of kitchen contraptions. I played the demo with Vimbo and I really, really did enjoy the experience of it. It was a very nice Steam Next Best demo. Again, that's why there's so many good games out there. You know, I had another idea for, I need to be more producer and less content creator because I keep getting good ideas for shows. And if I can't do them all, I want to be able to give money to produce shows where I can put other people on the show to, so they can do it. I want to find content creators who specifically say, I have nothing to play, I'm tired of playing this and then stream them playing a game that I choose, like Venva, and say, just give it a try. Just to awaken their minds of what's out there. Which sounds pretentious, I guess. Like, a, I know more gaming than you, but it's not, because seriously, Clara, you know, it's way more about indie games than I do. So does Vanessa, so does Mary Kish. Hey, all women, thanks, Yogurt. But I think part of that too is the fact that it's just, there's a lot of good games out there and I just want to share it. It's always been about just sharing the experience, really, of gaming. I think it's cool people are playing Cyberpunk on Steam Deck that friends started playing recently and I want to be like, no, wait. Wait, we mean no way because you want to do they stream? You want to watch their experience? Is that why or what? I thought so. Ba -da -da -dun -dun -dun. Slick, a renowned terrarium inspector, Slick is known for his sharp eye and passion for quality. He personally checks every tribute to ensure it meets requirements. At his birth, Slick inspected the hospital and graded it a grade two institution. Oh. Oh. That reminds me of that one dude. Um, what's his name? Old Big Head from Pixar, the kid genius. No joke, I spent the last half of an hour learning all about the people of Tamil Nadu, the language, the food, and it was pure Googling. It means the game's influence is working, right? When I played the demo, they were showing me how to make, um, what was it? 
It was a dish where I had to... There was three tray stacks in a steamer pot. I put water at the very bottom. And I put these tortillas on each layer. And then like a rice in the very bottom so they could all cook into one big dish. It was mad cool. The DLC is basically changing everything for the better, but also I like to take a deep breath and recognize that most people do not care about getting the optimal cyberpunk experience. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Having somebody hold out for a game update to really enjoy the game the way it should be. That's fair. Yes, exactly that, Culinary. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Steam cakes of rice and fermented lentils. You know what I wonder? I wonder if they're going to be at like Gamescom or a future indie arena booth. And if they are, if they're going to have like free samples of the food there, even better, paid samples of the food there to get your money. Where you can relive the game experiences or play the game and then right afterwards you get rewarded with the food. Oh my god, that would be so fire. I was learning about bread recently and it made me so hungry for fancy bread. Uh, at Jess. playing Celeste now? Okay. Or we're playing... Actually, this is more like Super Meat Nice. Flutterclay. When the farmlands become overgrown, a long-forgotten species of insect return to the original homeland. The Flutterclay sits proudly amongst the deep roots of forgotten farmlands, always observing, never disturbing. It's cute. I'm gonna make focaccia again soon. Can I have some focaccia? Get a bread maker. Are you talking to Twapo? Ori in the illusionary island. Said affectionately. Thank you. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Alex. Well, reminding me to look at my to-do list. I have a to-do list. Being organized helps a great deal, but I have a to-do list. And my to-do list is to actually make an Excel sheet list of games that I'm, I have to play. And that I want to play. Like, I played Ori in the Blind Forest, but I haven't played Ori in the Will of the Wisp. And don't hit me. As you know, it's hard to play every game in the world. I've never played Hollow Knight. At the time when I wanted to play it, I was watching literally everyone else in the world play it. I watched Skin Teeth play it. I watched Bronze Girl play it. I watched Nixie Puff play it. Uh, I think I watched Vern play it. So I just didn't want to play it because I, I can't play games that I watch played that much in one sequence because I lose interest in wanting to experience it for myself. There has to be like a cool down period where I forget about it. And I think I'm at that period now where I'd be okay with it, but it's also a Metroidvania, right? So it's a really large game. So it's more of a, when I get to it kind of thing versus a got to do it now kind of thing. You know what I mean, it might not be good by the time it gets to you. That's okay. What's this bread? Eight thousand loaves. Oh my god. One point five kilos of bread? It's like three and a half pounds of bread. I know it's not. It's backwards. I'm like, what's that bread sound like it's so heavy? Wait, no, yeah, it is. It's like three pounds of bread. Three and a half pounds of bread. You know, honestly, Twafo was getting me is not the bread itself. I love. How do I put this? I love non-American traditional ways of cultivating and creating food. I was going to say non-traditional, but that's unfair to say because tradition is based on where you come from and where you are. But. I love the fact they're making the bread this way in those contraptions. That's the appeal to me. 
Uzbekistan is on the map right now with this bread. Oh my god. Can you imagine the Panera bread bowl with one of these bread bowls? Oh my god. God, I can't wait to explore the world. Good link. Why hit you and we can just look forward to you playing it one day? True. Also, hello again, Lashoy. You're so cute. I might add it to my wish list. Hee <laughs> hee. It's going to say Reem. Just smacking him up on the side of that thing. Yeah. Wait, is this in. Oh! Bro? What a cool mob. Wow. All because I got too close to them. That is factually me when I'm sitting down at a restaurant or a library and every other seat is open and someone sits like really close to me. Same reaction, honestly. Hey, it's Rosie from Jetsons. Hey. Hello, you look new to the wonderful biomes of Monoth. <laughs> we are. Can I interest you in one of my map pieces? Hey. That would be fantastic, but I'm afraid we don't have anything to buy them with. <laughs> That's okay. I don't sell them. They're free. Huh? Where's the butt? Oh. At the top of my legs? Goofy, you clearly haven't been on social media because a couple of times it's the top of somebody's back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Later, Lashoy. There are no butts. Oh, should I upset my tushy? I just love making maps and handing them out to the wonderful folks who find me. Look for me throughout my note, and I'll give you a new piece in each area. Why can't you just give us all of them now? <laughs> Donald, you are the realest dude in the world. I love you. Where's the fun in that? You're right. What was I thinking? Thanks, pal. We'll see you soon. Yo, Donald. Donald is the realest dude in the world. Oh my god, I've explored that much Disney already? Doesn't feel like it. Classic Goofy Goofy. Jess, you know how your favorite thing to do is to ask people questions to learn more about them because you love learning more people when you ask them things like, what's your favorite soup or what's your favorite kind of tennis ball? What's your favorite bread that you've made so far and why? Angry storm cloud. Later, sucker. Nice. Just a tiny bit of a gamer. Just regular sandwich bread because I make cute little sandwich, <laughs> cute little lunch sandwiches for a person I love with them. And then he messages me he, when he's eating lunch, tell me how good his bread is. Aww. That is actually amazing. I was trying to hit the wall. Speaking of, um, I meant to start this game earlier because I didn't want to stream too late because I'm a working person now. But it currently is almost 1 a.m. and I should be going to bed. But I did want to get an idea of what this game is like and it's very cool. It's very neat. I can't wait to transfer the data to my Switch Lite just so I can play it handheld and see how well it runs in there. 
so far, so good. Very enjoyable. Thank you. Good night.